everyone and welcome to the breakdown and I'm starting off this video a little different I'm not in the DSLR I'm on my webcam full screen because I'm not gonna be here long today I'm gonna be teaching you guys exactly what a sitemap is for your website and how to install one in WordPress but before we jump on into the video I do want to remind you to subscribe to the channel and like the video for awesome content on websites online business making money online all that awesome stuff so uh, yeah click that subscribe button Anyway guys, what is a sitemap? Well, a sitemap is basically kind of a directory of your website. What it does is it allows Google to see all of the content on your website basically in one page. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the computer here and show you guys what I mean. So this is the sitemap of the breakdown.xyz, our website. And if we go in here, we have two. We have one for all of our images and one for all of our content. If we click on the one for all of our content, here it is. Here are all of the pages and articles on our website. And this makes it easy for places like Google and Bing and all that stuff to come and see what's up with your site. It's an easy way for them to see all of the links when they were last updated and know whether or not they need to index them and put them in search engines. It's what allows us to rank for things like just crazy craft and things like that when you google it as you can see right there is our article right boom having a sitemap notifies google about that stuff so not having one can really hurt your website's performance in search engines so how do you add one on wordpress well if we come over here to our trusted wordpress test site we can add one pretty easily now one way to do it is through jetpack which is very very easy you just go over here jetpack settings and then here you can enable the sitemap it's pretty simple i don't know exactly where on the page it is is it on this page at all let's see no it's not on this page we'll find it give me a second yes it is in the traffic tab here so if we click on traffic in jetpack settings we'll be able to scroll down and there it is sitemap and as you can see here it is nixgames.com slash sitemap xml boom no sitemap is found because it's generating i literally just enabled it and to enable it by the way you just click on that little check mark and it will enable it. I'm sure I just made it absolutely angry doing that. I'll meet you guys here in a second after it's generated. So here we have our sitemap completely generated. As you can see, here it is, and there's like no content on this site, so there's not much in here. However, here it is for the contact. As you can see, it's the exact same. It's the same as the breakdown as far as style goes. Now, if for whatever reason you don't want to use Jetpack to do this, and I don't really know why you wouldn't, but if you don't, you can come over here to plugins, and you can add a new plugin to your site, as we like to do, and we can just Google sitemap or XML sitemap. Right, the reason we want to Google XML sitemap is if you notice it says XML sitemap at the top and then you'll have Google XML sitemaps. This is the one I used to use all the time before sitemaps were integrated into Jetpack. Jetpack's an awesome tool, by the way. If you don't have it installed, you need to do that. But I'm pretty sure it calls them standard with WordPress now because they own it. But nevertheless, you can click install on Google XML sitemaps and then click activate. And then if we go over here into settings, we'll be able to scroll down to the bottom and see XML sitemap. Now we're not actually going to be able to access this because if we click on it it's just going to take us to the jetpack one that's already there however if you didn't do it through jetpack this is now installed and, and working because it's automatic right as long as there's no other sitemaps this will do it and it's that easy nevertheless guys i hope you enjoyed this video be sure to add a sitemap be sure to do it i'm telling you it is a must have for your website otherwise search engines will not find it and it will hurt you anyway this has been the breakdown my name is nick i hope you guys enjoyed the video like it subscribe to the channel all that awesome stuff and i'm out guys peace